Hello, welcome to New Adventures YouTube. Um, my name is Kelly Begin and I'm resident artist for New Adventures. I'm going to be teaching you a contemporary class today around an intermediate level for about an hour. Um, what you will need, you'll need some water to keep you hydrated and um, just to make sure that your space is as clear as possible um, so that you don't hit anything around you whilst you're moving. I'm going to offer some modifications um, and um, some options if you want to deepen any of the exercises. Where you are today is perfect. Please work at your own pace, um, in your own body and um, make sure that yeah, your space is clear. Feel free to adapt. Be as creative as possible with those exercises um, as we're all working in very different environments at the moment. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions around the health and safety, um, click on the link that should have popped up right now and we'll get started. Okay, let's find a really nice neutral place to start. <sighs> Take a big breath in. And a big sigh out. <sighs> Lovely. Feeling energy at coming out of your extremities. So for me today, that's out the top of my head. I'm just feeling energy down my legs, through the floor, energy out of my fingertips. Lovely. And we're just going to connect to our breath here a little bit. So I invite you to close your eyes or if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. You can just drop your gaze a little bit and we're just going to take a nice breath in. Expanding the ribs and the lungs and then breathing out. And again, a lovely, big, energising breath in. And breathing out. You might want to set an intention for the class here today. It could be play or curiosity or openness. It could be working on length or strength, really focusing on something, or it might just be doing and enjoying. But hold something in your mind as we breathe in. And we breathe out. Focus on the breath. Breathe in. Hold that word in your head. Breathe out. This time taking the shoulders to the ears. Breathing in. And breathing out. Softening, folding in the hips, the knees, the ankles. And again, big breath in. Energising breath and out. Lovely, opening the eyes, taking in the space around you, open the mouth wide, scratch the first, wide, and scratch the first, lovely, do a big silent scream. We all need that sometimes, gorgeous, and thinking about that intention you set, feel really positive about that, breathing in. That intention up to the ceiling, crossing the arms and giving yourselves a big hug. Feeling high in the sides here, over the hips. Just finding that beautiful space in the shoulder blades. Breathe in here, breathe out. Folding over, deepening over, finding, increasing that stretch. Heavy fingers drop down and we roll back up to our neutral place, feeling that energy through those extremities. Again, breathing in, breathing in that intention, crossing the arms, try and cross the other one over, see if that feels any different, dropping the head to the elbows, feeling really high above the waist here, breathing in. Beautiful breath out as we fold over, increasing that stretch. 
stretch between the shoulder blades. Heavy fingers, heavy head. And rolling up through the spine. Good. So we're going to fold and crease. So one, two. Recover. Three, four. We find that beautiful stretch up. Five. Six, we look to the ceiling, we're going to press away, seven, eight, we find our upper back curve for eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, recover, one, it goes and fold, and crease, recover, two, stand, breathing in, breathe out, Push away, refining that upper back curve. Seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, recover one. We go and stretch, and two, and three, and four, we face the leg. And six, and seven, and eight. Come back for two. Yeah, all right. And lift, we snake down and for the S shape back and up. Other side, and a two, and a three, and a four. Face the leg, six, and seven, and eight. We come back for two, we roll around to stand. We drop the head, snake, and back and up. Beautiful. So we're floating and finding that crease in the elbows and the backs of the knees, or you can just find that in the back and the arms here. Gorgeous. We're going to find that stretch up. Whatever that is for you today, and pushing away. Here we're going to find that beautiful upper back curve. So we're not going to go into our hips. Back here, we're going to really think about up and over and creating some space here. And we're just going to breathe. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then we're going to come back to that neutral space at one. Gorgeous. As we stretch over here, we're going to really think about that rib and belly button connection. There. And then as we face the leg, what we really want to happen is nothing in the hips. See my wobbly hips. We don't want that to happen, we just want to come beautiful, just working from above the waist here and finding that slight twist and curve, first of the day. Then we're going to return, if we want to, we might feel like we want to increase that stretch. Roll, think about that lovely relaxed heavy head to roll up through the spine. Here, head's going to lead, head is going to lead, we're going to float the knees, we're going to really hold that core and pelvic floor. We're going to find a beautiful S shape here, and then we're going to come back and just articulate through the spine. So we do that in parallel, and then we're going to find a wide space, um, our second position. We do the same here, curve and float, three, four, up, six, push, seven. We're finding our upper back curve here, and return. Then we repeat, pushing up. Pushing down. If you want to, you can take this all the way down and find a little stretch. Um, if you want to do that the second time, absolutely up to you. Side stretch stays the same over the leg. Here there's a real tendency to want to shift, so really planting that tree trunk into the floor, coming back, rolling through, and slightly different here. Instead of leading with the head, we're going to lead with the pelvis. And we're just going to take the focus a little bit up to the ceiling. So we're going to lead with the pelvis. Um, our head's going to be last. And then we're going to roll through. So before we lead with our head, whoosh, this time we're going to lead with our pelvis. We're going to look up to the ceiling. We're really going to hold that core and pelvic floor as we come down. Oh. Beautiful, snake up through the spine. 
Okay, finding that lovely neutral place. Think about those extremities. Here we go.
we go around the world. We go to Japan, Australia, Peru, and lift. We go all the way around, drawing the circles and lift. Lovely. From here, we're going to initiate the fold. Oh, we're finding our tilt. We're going to come up to that top arm. Two. We find that stretch again. We've already found it. Three. And we're going to initiate with this arm. And four. We're going to suspend over the top. Heavy head drops into a bend. Five. If you want to, you can just find that little hamstring stretch. Six. We're going to find that two-way connection there. Seven. We're going to push up on eight. Lovely. From here we find a twist. And we drop the weight. We catch. And back. And a twist. A drop the weight. We catch it. We come back. We're going to do back stretches. Curve. Over. By the flat back. Here. And stretching everything to come tall. And then we go the other way, round the world, hand forward to the side, and 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 forward, and side, and lift. Initiate tilt, and lift. A stretch, suspend, heavy head. Drop the weight, and we go in twist, and drop, and stand back, and twist, and catch, and up, and back, that stretch goes forward, for two, breathe out, back, back, lifting up, 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 and coming, to. there we go. So things to think about, really thinking about as you go around the world, not just about stretching this side, but actually what's happening underneath here and finding that connection and that two-way pull. That's a really beautiful thing to think about here. And then what's this space in front of us as we go all the way around the world to come up. Make sure you're really dropping your head here. And you're not allowing that neck to stay out. Gorgeous. Um, in the back stretches, just thinking about finding, we found it here, finding that upper get back curve first. And then we breathe out, and we're going to go from the base of the spine here, all the way out into a flat back. Yeah. Make sure you're not aeroplaning. And then the whole shape lifts. And then we're going to come up to stand. There. Lovely. Little back exercise. Let's have a little go. Find that second. That shape. Here we go.
cross, between um, as we're coming around and we're recovering, how it feels to be really straight this way, quite linear, or the difference if we break the elbows that way, and what that feels like, and just playing between the difference, playing between the two. Gorgeous. Let's do a little foot. We're going to come back to our neutral place here, feeling that pelvis dropping down, our oh, energy out the extremities. We're going to find a press, down, press fold, and down, through, find a bounce, back, and down. We go out, changing feet, out, and back, ankle, and knee, and ankle, and down, other side goes press, fold and press, and press, and balance, and press, and down, lengthen out, changing weight, here, off, and up, and off, and down, lovely, you can just do that, think about just um, in, the, in the feet there, Keep the, lower, the upper body really neutral, or if you want to, you can add the back, or just think about the back. All of those um, are perfect for where you are today. So, with the back, we're going to go curving over, twist towards. We're going to add the arms, they're going to take all the time. Lengthen, hand lengthen. We go here, and here, and here, and here, goes curving, forward, we're going to twist towards that leg, press the arms, echo the foot, they stay down, as we change the weight here, and here, this is a run, a run, a run, and down, so the arms are really marking the place um, of the foot, so there's a real sort of sense of staccato there. Gorgeous. Then we're going to do a little thing, get ourselves going. Again, you can just think about shifting or you can think about adding the back too. So we're going to do a little cross. We go forward and side and back and a little bounce. Bounce are the side and side. And back, and bounce, bounce. If you want to, if you're not ready for that yet, you can just think about it in the back here. So we drop the weight, the ear to the side, little arch here, bounce, bounce, dropping over, finding that wave, up and back, and bounce, and bounce. So it's really beautiful to think about water at that moment, waves or wave to the side, the kind of crashing foam of the sea, yeah? Or you can add them all together. Then we go into first, or uh, uh, heels out, in a kind of turned out position, and we repeat. A one, two, and three, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. This time it goes to the side, side. We go ankle, and knee, and out. And down, other side. Nice and easy, flowing arms here. And transfer. And up, and up. Arrive, and arrive. Then you repeat. A little boogie. It's up to you, really, what you want to do here with your shoulders and upper back. It's just really a chance. Uh, as we've been quite busy working within it, just to find some weight and let go there. So, we do the whole thing uh, in our neutral. We go foot, 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 little coda. And then we're going to find our first position and then we're going to repeat but come back to parallel. 
for our lateral code, you know, so we're not doing that. In turn up, but actually, if that feels good for you, then please do, you're welcome. Let's have a go with music. I will catch you in. Get up in the morning, sleep in Go other side. One, two, 
head, four, big circle, six, find that middle back, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, middle back, eight, two together, two, and three, four, this time five, six, increase it, seven, eight, open one, tilt two, over the top three, four, throw, five, six, back, seven, eight. I did the same side both times. So the first side we're going to tilt to the right, and the second side we're going to tilt to the left. Over the top, swing back, and find that little rise there. Beautiful. Just really thinking about the back here, so we're in that middle back place, we come to neutral. First side, we go to the right, we find our tilt. We're going to suspend over the top, the other way, and then we're going to let the back come round as we throw to come back to that neutral place to find that lovely rise and lower. Other way, we'd stand to the left, throw it over, throw it over, and back. Lovely. So we'll do it just like that first. If you want to stay there, that's great. If you want to deepen it a little bit more, we're just going to find a little bit of travel in the second section. First section is totally the same. We've got our shoulders. We've got both together. Remember that little change here to find the curve. When we come up one, we're just going to shift out to we're going to shift the weight, transfer the weight over through, and then we're going to shift, lift to come back here, yeah? So you're shifting, we're going to come under curve, and we're going to shift forward to come back. So let's do that again. We go one, two, and three, four, five. Find that 
Other side. 
heels, heels up, little bounce, bouncing, elevating, seven, eight, in Let's put the music on. 